Hi guys, um, back again. First video, I believe, of 2020. So, uh, wanted to talk to you about some new stuff we got coming. As you can see, I got a bunch of work going on here. Uh, new products coming in. Um, one that I'm very excited about, I've been working since the end of the year, it's behind my hand here, is this little device here. This is a um, Pi 1541 hat for the Pi Zero. Um, this is a Pi Zero for those of you that aren't familiar with it. This cost $5. Um, they're a little difficult to get sometimes, um, finding them in stock. Uh, most people, you can find them, but you're only going to be able to get one at a time. But $5 for this uh, Raspberry Pi, Pi Zero. Okay, uh, uh, there, I did see, you know, um, a hat designed uh, a while back, but it definitely wasn't a fully functioning uh, Pi hat. This one um, has the screen, OLED screen, has the option B, so you can hook up extra um you know devices printers other drives to it has all your buttons for navigation on the end uh it does have the speaker on it just like the original but as far as i know they haven't implemented the uh the sound for the speaker yet it will come i'm sure they're still developing and then you got your power and activity leds here um this was not you know an easy design to do to get everything to fit on here and to get it where it'll it'll function correctly so I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very proud of this, uh, this design. Um, uh, I love the, the compact size of it. And not just the fact that it's smaller, but like I said, it's going to offer you, since you're using this Zero that costs $5, it's going to offer you a much uh, cheaper, less expensive solution for a Pi 1541 device okay this is the our, our newest design on the uh, full size and as you can see it's a huge difference um, you know this this is half the size of the other and it, it does all the same things this little bad boy is gonna do just what this large one does uh, like I said they're still developing uh, uh, the firmware for this setting it up is a little bit um, different from setting up the full size. You do have to overclock the Pi Zero some. It's very easy to do. There's videos online showing how to do it. But I'm really stoked. We're gonna have these uh, uh, in the shop starting today. Um, they'll be um, $29.99, so you'll be able to have you a um, you know a Pi 1541 solution for 35 bucks. Now that's gonna. I mean that you know that's cheap. Um, and with the uh, USB power, don't forget, you know, our um, Atom Retros that come with the USB will power these Pi drives, either one of them. So you don't have to have another uh, power supply sitting on your desk. Get that Atom Retro, plug in the USB, and bam, you're good to go. So, uh, you know, we're really happy about this. I'm going to hop over here and show you, um, let you see that it, you know, it does work, the screen and everything. And uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so we're over here at the test unit. We're going to plug this in real quick and test it out. I'm gonna hold it up so you can see the screen. Power LED comes on. Takes a second for the screen to pop up. Okay, there you are. Now I'm gonna turn on the computer here and you'll see it right here is telling you what, um, what um, uh, ROM image we're using for the uh, Pi drive. So we'll turn on. There you go, now it's ready to navigate. Okay, so you see you can use your buttons to navigate up and down. And they're, they're small buttons, but they're they're not too small. Um, I've got pretty big fat fingers, so I can navigate it pretty good. Uh, so you can load your image in this way if you want to. But we're going to use File Browser. So I'm going to let it sit here. Going to load up File Browser. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it a little easier. Uh, Colt is trying to reach across me. We're gonna load up the Star Wars D64. You see the little activity LED popping on. Like I said, the sound isn't um, available in this firmware yet, but I'm sure, I haven't even checked to see if they've released a uh, newer one yet, but the um, last week, you know, as of last week, they hadn't released uh, support for the speaker yet. But um, there we go. 
So it's loading up the D64 now. And there we go. It's working. Um, it'll pop right up on the screen here in just a second. And there we go. This is the crack version, of course. Load it all the way in. There we go. All right, so we turn it off, it resets, just like the large one does. Turn it back on, we're good to go. All right, so there you go. Um, this should, uh, I haven't tested it in the 128 or anything, uh, because, it, I mean, it'll function just like the other one does. I don't know what all support they have for the firmware. Um, get online, go to pi1541.com, uh, Steve White's project, and uh, check it all out. They're actively working on it, so I do encourage you to help support Steve. Um, you know, donate to him. We donate um, money to the cause also <laughs> because it's a you know a heck of a good little device and i want to i want to see how far it will uh you know it'll go but anyway so this is what we're excited about and uh we'll have them available later today in the shop